I love when people are together. It's so much fun. Um, I like it too. Congrats on the series. Okay, I want to start with the three words you would use to describe suspicion. Maybe I can get one word from everybody. Thriller. I want to say like fast. <laughs> Thriller fast. Okay. <laughs> Non, I guess non-sequential, but that's cool. So thriller fast. Non-sequential. No, I need to go again. Uh, pu- puzzle. Yeah, thriller puzzle. fast puzzle. It's a fast thriller puzzle. Tune a in. Thriller puzzle. Fast <laughs> thriller puzzle works. Yeah. Puzzle is a really good one. Puzzle is a good one. Ah, oh, that's so fast good. That so no, was me. I let like it. I let it all down. I let it all down. There's the ball that little. Oh, that's smashed it. Yeah. The fun of the show is the secrecy. Speaking of puzzle, of of every role you've ever taken on, which one was the most shrouded in secrecy, where you literally could not tell a soul about it? Does anyone have one that they were like, oh, I'm not I mean, allowed really to say? To, this is, I mean, to be honest, this is beginning to feel like it. We've been doing press for a couple of days now, and it's really difficult to talk about the show. Yet you can't really say about anything, and I think it's going to get harder and, and worse as the show goes on because they're only releasing, um, you know, after the first initial two, one a week. So as it gets longer and longer, I think, at least for me, in my experience, this has been the most shrouded in mystery. Yeah. Yeah, which is also awkward because you're coming, we're talking about the show and you're like, talk about the show. <laughs> no, we can't. <laughs> but we're here to talk about the show. Yeah. <laughs> because we want people to realise it's so brilliant and you should watch it, but then we don't want to spoil it because that's the worst. I will say it's very hard to write questions as well for, for shows like that where they're so secretive. How much information are you guys given up front or are the twists and turns kept from you as well? Do you kind of know the ending at the beginning or are you like, I don't even know if I'm part of it or not? We kind of get a broad overview of the whole thing and of our individual character arcs. And then later on when the scripts are sort of okayed and passed on to us before we start shooting them, we'll get them closer to shooting those specific latter episodes but um we didn't know about each other though did we i no, only knew yeah. my initial story and then none of us got the final script until much later so we didn't know how it was gonna end how much of it have you like have you got how far in are you uh three episodes oh so you're not okay so the aliens haven't shown up yet Wait for the asteroids to come. The giant mice are incredible. (laughs) (laughs) I'm really, I really, um, I don't think I had a great grasp on where the show is going. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. Strap in. I think it really, really, it's an amazing show. And especially sort of when you get into it, season uh, episode three, like it really starts cracking off and you strap, your, strap yourself in. When you received your first script, what question did you want answered most? You're in like that first episode and you're like, man, I really want to find out this. I just remember it being one of the fastest scripts I've ever read. Hence why I said fast. Um, because it was just, I, I just whizzed it. through it. Yeah, come on. I'm okay, really okay, you got, it, you got it. You got it. <laughs> um, and so I think I just wanted the next script and the next script and the next script. And um, it, and it continues like that throughout. I read these so quickly. You guys get questioned quite a bit throughout, this, throughout the show. I'm curious when fans see you as you at conventions, on the street, whatever, what is the number one question that you are asked? I mean, I obviously get a lot of Big Bang stuff because, you know, I was on Big Bang for uh, all those years. So I get a lot of, um, you know, is Jim Parsons like Sheldon or are you like Raj? And, oh, how come, you know, you're talking to me because I'm a woman because my character didn't talk to women for six years without drinking alcohol. So that was, you know, I get a lot of questions like, like that. Do you know what? You see, really? you're good at flying under the radar. I get the occasional, occasionally someone will go, did but I go your to school look with changes. you? <laughs> but your look changes. You have a real, very interesting look and fashion sense. So you really... Very interesting fashion Yeah, very sense. interesting. Great you get noticed because he's really handsome and everywhere we go, everyone stares at him. Would you prefer someone to come up to you and ask you about something very specific or them to do that thing where they go, where do I know you from? And then they spend like 10 minutes spiraling, trying to figure out where they know you from. And you're like, I can't help you. And then, you know, cause you do, what you don't want to do is start reading off your CV. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, oh, no, have you seen you. this? Yeah. I've so many, I very often I'll say that I'm, I'll say I'm a sports journalist because oh, I know enough cool. about sports to sort of reel that off. Yeah. That's specific. So well, you just, lie. you just lie. You're like, yeah, yeah. You're like right. you can then have a conversation about, you know, football, sports. soccer or rugby. 
Yeah, and because I know about it, you know. God, there's so many people that are like, I met that actor, Tommy Saris, <laughs> and he was talking to me for ages about sports. <laughs> I don't know why, but <laughs> I guess he does it on the side. Yeah, it's more, it's more interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> you know, I have to single out your beard because I love it, and I feel like um, it's going to have a death grip on the internet. For people who it's haven't seen it yet, as well. oh, it's a death lovely grip beard. beard. Yeah. Thank you, thank you yeah. very much. Thank Shall you. you talk about your grooming regime? I don't know. I have the ability to grow hair all over my body, so uh, I have been gifted yeah. with that. And um, that's a scoop, I think. That's I it. Think that is <laughs> that's what exclusive. actually breaks the internet. Yeah. That's what breaks the internet. Kunal Nair's body hair has a death grip on the internet. <laughs> that's an it. That's Twitter an fast. What else can we? Uh, <laughs> beard. Twitter fast. Puzzle beard. I gotta wrap up, but I just want to say this is one of the most fun, most unhinged interviews I've had in a while. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm nothing. Sorry. I'm sorry. Did we give you any answer? You've got us right. You've got us quite near the end of like three days of this. So. No, I love it. It's 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 a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care.